What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, world? It's your boy Amp Dog with another episode of Politicking. Want to thank everybody for tuning in, showing your love, and make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, What's the deal? And so today we got to go in on uh, Rochester, New York uh, Police Department. We don't know the officer's name. We just know that they're on a vacation for a few days or whatnot. Paid, probably. Um, but this is in regards to a nine-year-old um, who, uh, as you know, more reports came out, uh, it was uh, caught in that she was suicidal and whatnot. But the nine-year-old, upon being, uh, I guess, stopped by the police or apprehended or whatever you want to call it. Um, only thing I could think of seeing the video that I seen is that she was probably more than likely scared. But anyway, uh, the end all be all results was that she was, uh, maced. She was pepper sprayed. She was sprayed with, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, some type of, you know, adjutant or whatever they call it. Uh, but my biggest thing is it was a child. So now, even though most people want to just look at it as, well, she was suicidal. They had to do what they had to do. Whatever the bullshit is that you want to say. But how I look at it is she was a child. And the fact that she like ultimately was maced, handcuffed, all that kind of shit. Um, at nine years old, bruh, Tamir Rice died at 12. Well, killed at 12 at the hands of police. So a nine-year-old being pepper sprayed as a female, you know, and we not even going to go into the race factor that she was black or, you know, uh, a minority, if you want to, you know, pinpoint that if you want to me I don't I think it's a bigger issue as far as policing and uh, the fact of how is it that as a police officer you're there to serve and protect serve the biggest word and that's the probably the biggest word that the actual law enforcement hate you know they hate to be told that they're serving you they want to feel like, this. no, this is a regular job that I just got super authority to be able to do whatever I want, act how I want, and that's it. But unfortunately for them, you are serving. You are a servant, you know? And what we've seen uh, with this video, and I'm not going to play it due to YouTube restrictions, and, you know, we got our first fucking strike, so we ain't doing no more of that. Well, the shit we got strike for, we ain't going to do that no more. I don't even know how we got it, but anyway, it's a lesson learned. But, yeah, so um, my biggest thing was the de-escalation. They didn't do it. Never tried. In fact, you heard an officer say, hey, fuck, just, just spray her. Just spray her, man. Like, what? You either don't have a heart or you don't have a child the fact that you are willing to for one you shouldn't even want to put her in handcuffs she didn't commit a crime she's running away from a situation and you never know what the situation may be i heard that they try to say well the mother came out cursing her out i don't necessarily believe that i believe the, the um, mother came out probably interjecting on what the police were doing but we don't know the facts so she may have she may have not but that doesn't negate the fact of how you guys handled it as law enforcement you know to a point where one of the officers tell her just get in the car you're acting like a child in in one of the uh, most realest ways I felt that nine year old when she said I am a child the fuck but, you know, maybe, you know, she could be taught how to, you know, not curse at adults and shit. But at what point are you just going to allow people to do you and treat you any kind of way? That's my biggest thing. 
Um, so what I'm hoping is beyond anything is that um, she could get the peace um, that she need as a young girl. You know, I got daughters, not as old as her, but um, close to, to where, you know, maybe we could open up di dialogue about why is it that kids this age are thinking about killing themselves? How are they living at home? But the bigger issue is how the police handle it. How did they handle it? How do you feel? Me personally, I didn't fuck with it. I didn't like it. Yeah, y'all can come out with reports that, oh, she was an angry kid. This and this. No, she's a child. A child. Clearly in the environment that you guys are trying to prove that we could build a relationship and you could trust the police. And this is how y'all doing this, you know. Um, respect to her family, her. Um, we'll, we'll see what transpires out of this. I know that they said the police is, is uh, suspended. Um, but at this point in time, it's a pandemic. Niggas is trying to get suspended on purpose, so they ain't got to go to work and still get paid. But anyway, that's my thought. But, yeah, we got to hold these police um, hella accountable. Soon as soon as they release their names, badge numbers, whatever, I think we all need to, to make a push to at least inquire about they past. Because if they willing to do that to a nine-year-old, and she wasn't really doing anything other than just being scared. Now, if you say that's not cooperating and she's being hostile, whatever, but she's nine, you probably 40, you know, um, with weapons, you know. So, um, and not to mention just the way it made me feel just hearing um, that little girl scream out for her father. Like, I want my dad. I just want to see my dad. Um, I'm not negating the fact that she was probably suicidal. But I did hear her say, um, I want to I want to see my dad for the last time. But that could be anything that could have been the, the truth of what's going on. Maybe it's not a suicide thoughts that I'm having. Maybe y'all trying to do this to my family and take my dad away. And I'm trying to, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, blessings to her and her family. Uh convict the motherfucking police that did it not even convict them because you can't who, who you gonna convict them? you know um let's just fire them let's have them being people that that ask you if you want a bag when you check them out of home depot as opposed to being able to get all these benefits and uh, pensions and, and good money you know to just basically do whatever the fuck they want but I don't want to drag this on um, shout out to all the new subscribers shout out to all the people that been holding us down supporting us uh, follow us on everything that you see on the banner Facebook YouTube Instagram Twitter um, and make sure whatever you do you tell them big amp dog said what's the deal peace